Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday the 9th of December. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Real, reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. A song of the King's glory. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who can rise up in his holy place? those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your hands, heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 62. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul. On God alone my soul in stillness waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to destroy me, as you would a tottering wall or a leaning fence? They plot only to thrust me down from my place of honour. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their mouth but in their heart they curse. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory. God is my strong rock. In him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath, the whole human race a deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, Set not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same. 
that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from <clears throat> Isaiah 47. Come down and sit in the dust, virgin daughter Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, daughter Chaldea. For you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, remove your veil, strip off your robe and cover your legs, pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered and your shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go into darkness, daughter Chaldea, for you shall no more be called the mistress of kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the aged you made your yoke exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be mistress forever, so that you did not lay these things to heart or remember their end. Now, therefore, hear this, you lover of pleasures, who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am and there is no one besides me. I shall not sit as a widow or know the loss of children. Both these things shall come upon you in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and the great power of your enchantments. You felt secure in your wickedness. You said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray. And you said in your heart, I am and there is no one besides me. But evil shall come upon you, which you cannot charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you, which you will not be able to ward off. And ruin shall come on you suddenly, of which you know nothing. Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries, with which you have laboured from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many consultations. Let those who study the heavens stand up and save you. Those who gaze at the stars and at each new moon predict what shall befall you. See, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal for warming oneself is this. No fire to sit before. Such to you are those with whom you have labored, who have trafficked with you from your youth. They all wander about in their own paths. There is no one to save you. Here ends the reading. A song of the wilderness. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with good with strength, O herald of good tidings. A reading from First Thessalonians chapter two. We all constantly thanks to God for this, that when you received the word of God that you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as what it really is, God's word, which is also at work in you believers. For you, brothers and sisters, became imitators of the churches of God in Christ Jesus that are in Judea, for you suffered the same things from your own compatriots as they did from the Jews who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets and drove us out. They displease God and oppose everyone by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved. Thus, they have constantly been filling up the measure of their sins, but God's wrath has overtaken them at last. As for us, brothers and sisters, when for a short time we were made orphans by being separated from you, in person, not in heart, we longed <clears throat> with great eagerness to see you face to face, for we wanted to come to you. Certainly I, Paul, wanted to again and again, but Satan blocked our way. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? Yes, you are our glory and joy. Here ends the reading. Now it is time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. For the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The Benedictus. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy on our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you'll go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem and see the glory that is coming from the Lord. Let us pray. Our God speaks tenderly to his people and cares for them as a shepherd cares for his sheep. Let us therefore bring to him our thanks and our prayers for our own needs and the needs of others. We pray for this day that lies before us. We pray for all that we will be doing in our waking hours. The tasks that we may want to achieve and complete today. The meetings that we may attend. 
the decisions that we may have to make. We pray for all those whose lives we will touch and whose lives will touch ours during this day. Lord, we ask for your blessing and the guidance of the Holy Spirit on us as we go through our day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this Advent season, we pray for God's church throughout the world. We pray that the church may be a herald of good tidings, that the church will speak in a strong voice the glory of the Lord that is to be revealed in Jesus Christ. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who find it difficult to be able to profess their faith because of restrictions of the nations they live in. We pray for their continued strength, for courage, as they seek to follow the way and the truth of Jesus Christ. We pray for our own diocese here in Sheffield, for our bishops, Pete and Sophie. We pray for all those who lead the diocese, the deaneries, and those in our parishes. That despite the restrictions on our worship, our churches may be holy places where people can still gather and find peace and listen to the word of the Lord being spoken. In our own parish, we pray for all the services that are being planned, for all the different activities for this Christmas season that is coming. We give thanks for all those who are committed to leading and preparing for the Christmas season. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations of the world. We pray for their leaders. We pray that in all the places where there is an injustice, where there may be conflicts, when there may be violence, we pray for peace. A peace that is just and meaningful. A peace where people can live without fear. That families can be raised without the knowledge of persecution. We pray for all those who are at this time being driven from their homes, the refugees of our world, that they too may find a place to call home, a place of peace. Lord, for all the leaders of the world, we ask they will see that each life they are called to look after is precious in your eyes and should be respected. And we're mindful of the nations throughout the world who are fighting the coronavirus. And as we rejoice the fact that we have a vaccine in our own country, we pray that that vaccine can be in other countries as soon as possible, that the world may be eased of this disease. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in particular need today. Pray for those who are unwell. We 
pray for those in our hospitals, in our hospice, in our nursing homes, for those who are being cared for in their own homes. May they all know, Lord, of your healing presence. That your love will surround them. And for those that are afraid, we pray for strength and compassion from those who are with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own families. We pray for our friends. For those who we love those who love us. Wherever they may be, whatever they may be doing this day, Lord, we pray that you will journey with them and that they will be richly blessed in their day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, that we have this time to be able to pray together. That through the gift of technology, we can meet as your people. Heavenly Father, we bring our prayers to you, trusting in your great faithfulness and compassion. And as we look forward to celebrating once again the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, help us to look forward to the time of his coming again and to prepare ourselves for that day. We pray in your name, Jesus Christ, our living Lord. Amen. Collect for this day. O oh Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succor us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory, now and forever. Amen awaiting his coming in glory as our saviour taught us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Oh, let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thank be, to God. be to God. Amen.